This is the spot where America's oil needs meets environmental frustration and concern. The noble discoverer, one of two rigs Shell is operating in the Arctic. The rigs aren't drilling for oil, only putting in 1,500 foot preparatory wells that they'll revisit and complete next year when the real work begins. 2012 has been a good year for us because we drilled. 2013 will be uh, uh, a chance to improve upon our success this year. Success here doesn't come easy. In a setback, Shell scaled back its drilling plans this summer after a major piece of cleanup gear and oil containment dome was damaged during testing. To win drilling rights, Shell has paid for and equipped its own armada of cleanup vessels. Environmentalists and some Alaska natives say the failure is proof the Arctic isn't ready for oil exploration. You can't have success in a controlled environment. How can you be confident you can control it in a place like the Arctic? Well, first of all, we were working on this. This is why we were testing the uh, containment dome to begin with. We were looking at it really as a, uh, it is a serial number one uh, piece of equipment. So the work we're doing is really working to, to work all the bugs out of the problems before we bring it up to the Arctic. But oil from the Arctic won't come cheap and it won't come easily. Shell has already spent $5 billion just to get to this point and they're not entirely sure what they'll find down there. They believe that as much as 20% of America's future oil needs could be below the seafloor where I'm standing. We've got 275 leases in the Chukchi, which is huge. It's about equal to our position in the Gulf of Mexico. So we are optimistic, but everything before a drill bit is really just optimism. We have to drill this. Next summer, Shell says it's all systems go. All its cleanup vessels ready for Arctic deployment. Today, an expensive dress rehearsal for what Shell insists is a major production ahead.